this video records of cleaning the blower wheel yourself at home. A dirty blower wheel will consume more electricity. So it's a good practice to clean it once a year. So let's get started. I'll show you how to do it yourself. First, you need to remove this screw on the left hand side, followed by the drain pipe. To do that, you need to wiggle this rubble and then gently push this hose away from the main the drain pan. There you go. Then there are some remaining water dripping. So use a cloth to actually absorb all the water. Then next head on to the right side. It's mounted a DC motor by this one screw. Remove it and gently pull it out from the tilting. Then pull this drain pan down. To your surprise, the inner surface will have grown mold already. Uh, uh, wash it clean. Take first a cloth, wipe away the mold, dirt, followed by hand wash. Here I use this uh, brand of hand wash. This is the hand wash that I have at home. So I'm going to use this. Use a toothbrush to clean those tight spaces and then wash it clean. Then next, I'm going to remove this. This, can you see it? The screw. This is the mounting screw. I'm going to remove it over the right hand side followed by this mounting screw on the left hand side so that I will able to break loose this coil easily. Now you do not want to level it too much or else you might risk bending the copper coil over the other side. Remove this rubber bush from left then gently pull this blower fan out then clean it as shown. Normally the dirt will be collected at the side. Now this dirt would actually slow down this blower wheel and it will consume more electricity in the long run. So I will first wet it first, then I will apply some body wash onto the blower wheel to help me clear germs and at the same time to identify which area has been cleaned. Then once it's clean, I'm going to air dry, wipe it dry, and then I'm going to clean this inner surface by using hand wash again. It happens that I only have this strand of hand wash. I pump twice onto a damp cloth. I prefer to use a hand wash because it contains alcohol. It helps me to disinfect this surface at the same time to clean this surface just like new after cleaning it. It's very effective in doing so. I do not want to have germs at this area so that the blower will always blow air through here and the germs keep on blowing it out from this when this, this is the drain pipe you got to hold it with your glove and then you could blow it here like this <laughs> all right this is a trick to prevent the jelly from clogging it and causing a leakage now next i'm going to show you how to install this blower wheel now this end with a rubber bush this end here goes in to the left hand side and then the other end with a coupler go on to the right hand side near the motor so you can't go in like this okay you can't go in like this so there are the couple holes on the right hand side you will be careful when you level this coil just level a little bit just big enough for this wheel to gain access into this area right so once you get into this volume push it in and place this rubber bush back into its position then Going to move on to the other side to install this blower wheel back into its place. Now, please take note that I'm wearing a glove. Don't you do not want to hold it with your bare hand because this coil is really sharp. Just put it back into position, pull it out a little bit, make sure it goes to the coupler. I hope we will able to show you, but I do not have enough hand to show you that. Then, once it's back into position, fit it into nicely, you're good to go. It's always good to wear. A pair of safety gloves when we're working with this coil. You do not want to hold this coil with bare hand or else you might risk injuring yourself. After you place this blower back into position, you will spin around, check if there's any sound making or caused by this, uh, I mean, crash with the surface. Okay, now I have wearing a pair of a Twister Pro sponsored by Safety Labs. Over the right hand side, when you install this mounting, make sure. If it's outwards, not too much in like this, outwards, or else you will have this crashing sound later when you turn on the motor. Then next, secure this coil back into its position and left. Do not over tighten it until you break this plastic. Just tight enough for it to hold this coil into position. Now this stunt is performed 10 feet away from the floor. If you're not confident, then hire someone to do it for you, for your own safety. I just need to push this drain pan into its holes and then align it properly and push it upwards to an angle and then push it upwards slightly like this. Here you go. 
until you hear click sound, the left followed by the right side. Now it took you a while to do it. Now this is not my first time doing, that's why it no. seems so easy. Mm. Then you're going to push it in, you have a little patience, you want to break this plastic, and then you're going to make sure this drain pan is tilted. Now this is not a good idea because you don't want water to flow this way. You're going to make sure the right side is higher than the left, so the water will flow to the left. Okay. Of course, later I'm going to test it out with water. I'm going to pour water into this drain pan to make sure water flows to the left. Then next, I'm going to install this swing flat motor. This swing flat motor is secure one side by the plastic. You don't break this plastic. And then the other side, a screw. And it fits only one side. Make sure it fits at the correct direction. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to secure this screw. Don't lose this screw, or otherwise your flap will not be able to open and will not be able to channel the air out correctly. This is a very important step. Don't break this plastic. Just hand tighten the screw and secure this motor into position and push this drain pan back into position. Then, test if this drain pan is tilted properly by pouring a few bottles of water slowly, not until it overflow the drain pan. Okay, you check if there's water flowing through. Yes, I think there are some water. I think it flows through the drain pipe hole through there. I'm going to pour it again. Not too much until it overflows, then it drip onto the floor. Okay, pour it down slowly, gently. All right. So this is the trick. Okay, to test if this drain pan has been installed properly. Make sure one side, the right side, is higher than the other side. You need to test it with at least two to three bottles of water just to be sure there are no remaining jelly clock out the whole drain pipe. Okay, or else you need to blow it with air again, like what I've shown earlier. Now this tux is performed at least eight feet away from the ground. So if you're not confident to do it yourself, probably you hire someone to do it for you. This video is a form of entertainment so that you know what's happening up there. Next will be the cover. The flap goes in first, followed by up there. Not really. You've got to make sure this notches up here is aligned properly and fit into its position. Push it inwards until it fits. It's good to wear a pair of safety gloves to prevent your fingers from being injured by the coil inside while you are pushing this cover back into position. Lastly will be the air filter. I've cleaned it dry and install it back into position and uh, install the mounting screw in the middle and at both sides down there. Then close this cap left and right, then it's done. Now this recording are meant for my own personal record. Maybe you can watch it as for entertainment purpose so that you have some idea what's happening. I also later add on a cover to prevent the cold air from blowing directly onto my nose. That's all. Bye bye. <laughs>